welcome to Bella's Crochet Gifts. I'm Bella. All right, so today I have some works in progress and I also got some new yarn from Michaels that I would like to show you. So let's get into it. First off, I am participating in a uh, make-along that is being hosted by Litza from Coco's Crochet. It is the uh, Coco's Crochet Calendar Blanket. It is a six month blanket um, that is encouraging us to use scrap yarn. So she is doing a sampler blanket with her scraps, but I decided to go a different way and I'm gonna be doing the Sophie's Universe Blanket. Um, my good friend Neva from Manic Mama's Musings gave me the pattern book like the big one the huge ones you get off like amazon and stuff she got that for me for christmas and i was like completely blown away it is a gorgeous pattern so i am going to combine my uh scrap project with the sophie's universe blanket so for uh litza's um calendar blanket she has sent a couple of us this gorgeous calendar from Sydney, Australia, which is where she's at. So cool. And this is January's picture. So what she did was she picked uh, uh, colors from this picture like she put, named out a whole bunch of colors and did a drawing and whatever colors she picked out, um, those are the first, I think she picked out three colors from the, the uh, calendar itself and then she did one wild card. And um, I think, yeah, it's in there. Anyway, but um, so the colors were uh, white red, blue, and her wild card was purple. But there is purple in the, the poster as well. So <laughs> I think she just wanted to put in purple because it is her favorite color, which I totally get. I completely understand. So this is my progress for this month. Let me, oh, got everything stacked up here. So this is my progress. It is turning out great. So we have the yellow. There is actually three colors of purple here. So there's, let's see. So this is part of the Neva, uh, the blanket that Neva, no, the yarn that Neva gave me for our 12 days of Christmas swap. So this is one of Neva's, this color is one of Neva's, and the blue is one of Neva's colors that she gave me. So it is looking great. I am so happy with how it's turning out. So we've got the yellow, the purples, the blue, and the, uh, she said white, but I'm more of an off-white girl, so I'm going to do off-white or cream instead of bright white. I will always do that if I have a choice. So that is my progress. I am super excited about it. I am using uh, an eye hook, which is a 5.5 millimeter. Ignore my tails. <laughs> They're everywhere. Um, this blanket is for me. It is meant to be a uh, reminiscent blanket of your past projects and you know something special for yourself so I am not worried about tucking in tails right now that can that can wait so this is the Sophie's Universe uh, pattern this is one pattern this huge book is it's it's amazing um, I do this to keep my pages together because it's so big. It just keeps flopping, you know, pages keep turning on me. So I have completed the first section. 
completely and we are I'm ready to start part two um so the way that this is uh put up or this the way that uh Litsa has described it is uh, she was intending for every month to do eight rows. Well, this thing has 111 rows, I believe. So I might add a few more rows in at the beginning just to be a little bit further along in the process or I'm just not sure. Like with these early rows, it's going to go really quickly. Like, you know, I'm already done with the eight rows, <laughs> but, um, I mean, and that, that was kind of the point. It, it shouldn't take you like a ton of time. It's, it's not meant to be your primary, uh, focus for the, the month long, you know, your month long project. But, um, I don't know. I, I am done with my eight rows, so we'll, we'll put it there. <laughs> and I love how it's looking. It's such a cool pattern. So if you guys are interested, I would highly suggest uh, looking it up or buying the pattern. Um, I'm actually not sure. Uh, is it Dedry Use? You use? I don't know. That's the uh, the author. And that's the book. I will put a link it in in the description box for the uh, Amazon pattern if you're interested. It is not a an affiliated link. I get nothing. It's there's not sponsoring. It's just easy access if you are interested in this pattern. Being able to just click on it and go to the pattern itself. So. Anyways, that's where I'm at. And now, Michael's had some new yarns. And I'm sure you've probably seen all of these by now because I had to wait for them to stock it in my, in my, uh, my Michael's. Like, it says they're available. And I went in and the lady's like, I don't know where they're at, but we do have some boxes in the back. And I was just like... Okay, fine. <laughs> so, we have some new yarns to show you. Let's start with this one. So, when I saw these colors, I thought immediately of my friend Heather the Crochet Witch. Isn't that gorgeous? So, this is the um, Karen Cinnamon Swirl Cakes. Let's see, it is, it says no wool, yay! <clears throat> this is an eight ounce um, cake. It is 227 grams, 407 yards, or 372 meters. It is 100% acrylic, which I am super excited about. It is a medium weight number four. It is machine washable and dryable. It calls for a five millimeter hook and needles. This is the color Heat Wave. And where, oh, Made in Turkey. So this color I thought was so gorgeous. The yarn feels, it feels plumper than the usual um, like the, I, I can't use the regular Karen cakes because it has wool in it, but the big cakes, I use those quite a bit. This feels thicker, like it feels thicker to me than the, the feel of the, the big cakes. So, um, I think it's going to have a more plump feel to it when you're uh, crocheting or knitting it. I loved the the variety of colors. If they would have had this in all blues with a gray overtone to it, I would be in heaven. But they didn't. I almost bought the one that was blue and purple. 
but then I saw this one and I was like, that just so screams my friend Heather. So I had to get this one. So I bought two of these because it was um, the buy one, get one 50% off. So I was like, might as well get them in twos. Okay. And then I got some of the blossom cakes, the uh, Karen blossom cakes right there. These, oh, um, at the time right now, they are $12.99 a cake for these and the cinnamon swirl. Um, let's see. So this is... Oh, I went the wrong direction. <laughs> so isn't this pretty? This is totally me. And I'm not sure if it's showing up true to color for, you know, on the playback, if it'll, it'll look right. But this is much darker. It almost looks a little um, like a brighter blue, but it is very, very gray blue. This is if this colors would have been the swirl, I would have been all over it. <laughs> okay, so this is an eight ounce cake, 220, uh, 227 grams, 481 yards, so a little bit more yardage, uh, 440 meters. This is 61% cotton and 39% acrylic. It is a medium weight number four. It is machine washable and dryable and calls for a five millimeter hook and needles. So this is chain spun, which I actually like. It looks thinner uh, in comparison to the uh, cinnamon swirl. Um, it does have a little bit of a halo and it is, um, with the being the chain spun, it's going to work up like a little thinner because there's, there's not as much bulk to it. Um, a lot of times with the, the plied yarns, it's all yarn in the center. These are almost like a little bit of a tube. So it makes it a lighter weight and a lot more comfortable for like summer months and making more lightweight shawls. So I just thought this color was gorgeous. This is called uh, Denim Days. So, and I re I like this, the feel of this one more than I do the, the blossom, or I'm sorry, more than the cinnamon swirl. Ooh. Got a little bit of, a little bit of fuzz, but yeah, I like the feel of this one. I think... I think this one needs to to be one of their their regular cakes because it is so gorgeous. I might have to buy a lot of this. <laughs> but I was gonna start out with making like a shawl because I got I got two of these, and then I also got one of these. Oh, that is so pretty. So this is the same. Uh, it's the the blossom cake and this is the color uh Caribbean Sea. Oh that is just so pretty. So I got this one and I got this one to go with it. I think that's gonna be so gorgeous. Look at that. So this is the color uh tide pool. So I was going to do like a striped probably shawl with these two because I think that'll just make an absolutely gorgeous lightweight shawl. Um, I haven't decided on a pattern yet, but I feel like it's going to be a triangle shawl. I'll have to look through because I do have that goal to make more patterns that I have bookmarked in in various forms or you know, between Pinterest and uh, the different yarn companies and stuff, they have all sorts of different shawl patterns to choose from. So I'm thinking 
those two are going to be a triangle shawl. And then I have one more set of yarn. <clears throat> this is not a Karen. This is actually a Loops and Threads. It is a, a Cozy Boucle. It is a bulky number six. It calls for a six millimeter hook and needles. 100% polyester. This is hand wash, uh, lay flat to dry. This is the color uh, Twilight. It is made in China and it is the Okotex 100 standard or standard 100. And it has uh, 5.29 ounces, uh, 150 grams. 164 yards and 150 meters so I got this color and I got this color because I want to do another hat kind of oh, kind of like this one oops I want to do something like this and I want to make the the dark blue the main color and then the light be the bobble stitch or you know whatever textured stitch is in between so that's what i'm thinking about with these and i think that would be so cool because this has this has the white flex and this has the dark blue and the lighter like a lighter blue so it says it's a bulky six, but it's kind of an interesting construction. It's got, <clears throat> it's got almost an eyelash uh, fur to it. And it's like, if you look at it right there, it looks very thin. So the bulky six is gonna be the amount of halo that is coming off of it. And it's kind of, it almost feels like a fur yarn and then it's got these eyelashy bits. Can you see that? So it's extremely soft. I think it is going to be a very, very cozy, snuggly hat. And if I have enough yarn, also a cozy, snuggly cowl. So look at that. And then here, here's a better look at the flex. Oop. It's almost like they put together, almost like three strands because this right here is the, the fur type yarn. This, whoop. is like another strand with almost like the little slubby bits so that it's like it's thin but then it has a like a a poof of uh fiber and then it's got the eyelash part so it's almost it almost feels like three yarns put together but with being 100% polyester, it is so squishy. And I think it's going to be just so much fun to work with. Like, I don't mind doing uh, textured yarns or I don't mind, um, a lot of people don't like homespun or boucle type yarns. Um, I actually enjoy them. I think they are uh, fun to work with. It's a different texture. It gives your hands a different feel for you know, other than the just standard, standard plied yarns. So I think these are going to be really fun and I think it'll work up really nice. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use that exact hat pattern or if I'm going to find another one that is similar, but that is what I envisioned as soon as I saw this. <laughs> All right. So I think that is everything I was planning on sharing today. 
Um, I hope you guys are having some nice weather. It it warmed up a little bit here. We've been kind of in the 40s, mid 40s. We haven't had any snow at all this year, so that's nice. Yay! <laughs> um, all right. And then, let's see. I am going to be taking a trip um, back home to Idaho at the beginning of February, but it will not interfere with my movie marquee challenge reveal and everything I've, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to pre-record that so that it'll be up and you guys will be able to see my, uh, my pick. I will not be late, <laughs> um, but I will be there for a week and a half or so. So you might not get a video if I, if I don't have anything to pre-record, um, you might not get a video for one week in February, but I'm sure going to try and I know I'll miss you if, if I can't get one up, but like I said, I will try. <laughs> All right. So that is about it for today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day or night or whatever it is. I hope it's wonderful. Bye.